like the that you are like his parents or older people because you ah. don't understand if milk, ah, yeah. milk the guy if the but fat, only in English yeah, and they keep making fun of me about because, because of it because of English ah okay but yeah then I maybe I do yeah men with like <laughs> I get confused. You know. It's like my mom. Oh yes, he is. What? No, <laughs> you know I, I'm. <laughs> yeah, now I, I get it. it. It was how I. The worrying, low, not the milking. <laughs> yeah, the worrying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm trying to find the best in everyone. And you know, it's not working every time. Best in everyone? Best yeah. in everything? Not in everything, I mean, like, yeah, people. You, you see, yeah. I'm I, trying I, to see the best in everyone. Yeah. That's why I'm I so happy with this. Oh, sentence. So, uh, oh, yeah. It's okay, I understand. I also hear you always halfway open. Yeah, for a purpose. <laughs> for safety purpose. Yeah. Because then I'm like, oh, I didn't forget. I, I, I didn't hear you. So I can grab? Yeah. Okay. No, everyone is worth your time and attention. That's true. But I'm always trying. And damn, it's not paying off sometimes. Okay, let's do the grind. I'll lower the microphone.
And we're back. Okay, where were we? Me running for president or something like that? You can try it. <laughs> yeah, when I saw... We are already starting here. Yeah. Like here, the election of a new president is actually starting. Like, well, the campaign is starting, right? And it, when I saw some people who are actually thinking they can get there, yeah, maybe I could try too and have a way better chance than them. But you know, I'm already a little bit busy. but too busy. <laughs> I've abandoned the two-party approach. How did you abandon it? How, what do you mean? Video. Oh, you mean like in the USA where you have Republicans and Democrats? That's normal. The leader can approve or veto laws. Oh, okay. Yeah, I didn't know if it's the same in other countries. Because, you know, officially in China there is demo democracy, you know? So, not every democracy looks the same. Czech Republic. I think about seven. Maybe even more. 
Yes, the two parties have lost sight of what governing a nation. It's normal for democracies. Ah, okay. Well, you know, that's why I said China is also officially a democratic republic. A uh, check word? What check word would you like to know, Dan? to figure out what exactly that would mean in Czech Republic. Homestead is like where you live and it's also your property, right? Like the whole property, the whole area where you live. It's a very American thing. I know the word. Usually a bit of farming practice too. Yeah, small size property usually. Google Translate says you said lost. Yes, that's what Agnes just came up with. I wasn't sure if that's the same. I think in Eastern Europe, that's what a lot of villages are. Just a bunch of homesteads together. Yeah, actually we live in a homestead, I think. Because we have our house, we have the garden and a small field. And almost every property here around in our village, but this is a small village, right? There is about, I think, 50 residents that are staying in this village. Well, now maybe more than the kids, maybe 60. Sorry. People in, in Bukovina? No, 50. 50, yeah. And then there are some people who come here just for vacation, you know? Who have houses around. But they don't live here, so... We are a really small village in quite remote, remote location. that for 
because damn, I didn't hear it for a long time, even in Czech. Because people here, when they are building something new to live in, they don't build homesteads anymore. They usually buy them and change them to something else. Want some small degree of animal husbandry. Animal husbandry, are you talking about me? <laughs> oh wow, there's more than 50 people on my stream. <laughs> I didn't know you were a flat earther. <laughs> I'm not, but the edge is there. I, you know, you can't deny it. I live in the suburbs and it's not really for me. Say the word again so I can hear it. I'll write it for you. Who uh, said lost? So for you it would be like used lost. No, it's who said lost. lost yes well actually I think if I would split it into these it would be like so it's like you said lost is six hectares with gardens, sheep, chickens and of course my shop and barn on our house. Nice. Nice man. Six hectares. One hectare is 100 meters square. We Then we are close to three hectares, I think. Very nice. It's 15 acres. Yeah, I think we are closing to three. So, do you work somewhere or are you home all the time? Because like with all that work with around this, I can't imagine what else you would have you would have time for. Is that how you measure land over there? Yeah, we also have acres and, well, more hectares though. Yeah, yeah, hectares, acres also. The only difference is we don't use inches. We use centimeters because... But acres, we don't use here acres. I thought we do. Not, not that often. Oh. Hectares. Yeah, we do use hectares. hectares. But I never heard anybody to say I think it's just not that used much. 
But I've already heard that here, that people use it from time to time. I think we can agree on acres, but keep your inches for you. full time for my employer and very busy at home. Amen. Yeah, I I can imagine very busy. I use the word hectares because when I talk to people outside of the US, they usually use hectares. Yes. So I always convert. Well, thank you. Yeah, we do use hectares. Oh yeah, one acre is 0 0.4. I think that some then I think people don't hear use acres much. But it's the same with inches. Here are actually some weirdos that sometimes use inches. Like who? Some older guys. Definitely older guys. Really? Yeah. Like the guy, electrician, old electrician that was there when I came into the hotel. From time to time he was using inches. And, he, and also they use inches for uh, the pipes. Yeah, for pipes. So, That's right, but so they because they are, and I hate that because yeah, they're like, it's three quarters. Yeah. What? It's cool. 
know that machine that is turning and you're using those chisels to, or wood, turning, you know. I forgot the word completely. Oh, you're right. I remember you had a teacher who taught, taught you mainly just about this machine. Yeah, he was yeah. like, he, he chose. Lathe, yes, lathe. For every, uh, like, it's not. <laughs> like three quarter, bro. What the fuck wrong with that? <laughs> like, can't you just say it right, like one number, you know? And you have to three quarters of one number. Why would I have to then realize what number is that and have three quarters of that and try to like? Can't you just measure one quarter, put them together and have one number? I just wish we could all settle on one system. I don't care which. Yeah, me too. Uh, yeah, I would like to we could agree on one system. Metric system. <laughs> yeah. And like, fuck off with inches. It's the same way. <laughs> I hate that. Way. Vikanim. Uh, uh, oh, yes. Because we have here, like. In Czech language, there is a. I think I talked about it before. Hold on, I'll just read it. Try work, try working on a car, and every bolt is a guess whether it's metric or standard. Lol, yep. Buying two sets of sockets sucks too. <laughs> yeah, like here in Czech Republic, there is a in our language is a different. address elderly and unknown people when they're adult differently than people who you know and are friends with. And then such. Like for foreigners, it's super confusing. Like that, okay? Well, it's 
Some people just doesn't care. I really don't care. I'm trying just to speak the way they. I I assume it, there will be the less harm done. But I hate it. But I hate it. Yeah. I'm it. confused from it. Because sometimes I'm really confused. Yeah. You and hear I it, right? Remember. We are Czech-speaking bird people, and we are confused. And then you have some kind of a relative like Agnes from Australia. They come here and they mainly speak English, but they know Czech, but they don't use these things. And then they talk to somebody in Czech Republic, like they are talking to a friend because they don't know different. And people here are like, what? If you're not friends, don't talk to me like that. You know? More formal or familiar. Yes. Thunderfogs, hello. Hi, everyone, don't forget to boot and scare your favorite streamers. What? <laughs> Funny emo. When I was a child, we were taught not to sue you because it was too familiar and could be disrespectful to some. So we would skip using the pronoun and use a formal noun. Ah, yeah, well, good for you. We still have shit like that in here. And I hate, because it's like, I don't mind address this more formal way somebody who is older than me and I have big respect for him, okay? Then I really have no clue. It's just, it feels natural to address that person like that. But then you have some fucking drunk in the pub who is sitting in that corner for the past 40 years and he will tell you, oh, hey young woman, don't address me like everyone a friend, okay, some respect, man. And also I hate if kids using the language on me. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm um, feel like I feel old.
so we got five for all of these. I'll make two more, and then I'm going to. Well, then I'm start. I'll start to finish some projects that I need to finish for a long time, and then I can start clean up the workshop for the fence commission progress. I'll have to take that armchair somewhere else. Here's a link for Agnes, the woman blacksmith I've been studying her work. Mm. Let's check it. Today internet is not in a bad condition. Oh, 
What is she? Hold on, I'll put it on the... Does she have her works on that? Uh, Dan sent here a link for Agnes. A woman blacksmith, I've been studying her work. Okay. What do you think? My creative mind is very organic. Well, we are organic people, right? I might not want to make fun of her. What? Uh, nothing. You want to take? Come over. Fun of her? Fun of this woman. Because she says... What, what did she wrote there? My creative mind is very organic. Is a sentence there. And I'm like, yeah, of course, because we are organic yeah. beings. But I didn't meant it like I would like to make fun of her. That's what I said. Hold on, what? Gates? Then she doesn't work alone. And this looks very organic. What is that? What is this? Oh, oh, so you want to check? on the top of the page. I saw the RAM pop up and I, it looked like she was using it on her page. <laughs> oh, it's over, over it too. Oh yeah, it's the overlay, yeah. So, parts to a larger project. Ah, it's the knot of democracy. Okay, and what is it for? Because I would understand these knots from like. Okay, it's so small that I need to focus on that. Here she has hardware, hooks, and handles. <laughs> so I don't mean it disrespectfully, but I said, yeah, this looks very organic. I have no clue what that is. Yeah. And it's supposed to be. Hold on, how did he write it? It's the knot of Democles. Do you know what knot is? Who's that? Well, just a joke, the knot of Democles was a story about a knot that couldn't be untied. Oh, okay. Yeah. Parts to a larger project too. Okay. Tendril hooks, reverse twist hooks, and bottle openers. So these are bottle openers? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it's, like... I can't say how big it is. That's why I thought it's like much bigger. I didn't think this would be a... But here are the... Thing. Yeah. These will be Tom, parts of the biggest... So... Oh yeah, I didn't see the tongs behind, below it, yeah. under it. So you can see how big yeah. it is. Well, still, those are pretty big wall openers. If those are like tongs of like mine... But it's tender hooks. Reverse twist hooks and bottle openers. So I thought... So that this one is bottle openers, this yeah. is ten, Yeah. That's why I thought that even this yeah. is pretty big bottle opener because it must be if those tongs are similar to my regular tongs like these ones or like ours of course sorry so it must be about like this I don't know so if it's like 15 centimeters I'm not one I don't want to talk only about the okay yeah I'm just, you know, I'm just I want to see more okay Gates. I'm curious about this section. Ah, this is always so freaking tricky. To do these things so they don't look like a mess is hard. And I'm sorry, but I think this looks like a mess a little bit. This top, like the gate. What? This is confusing the... Yeah. The chain, the, the chain yeah. with those. What Wouldn't is that? be there. It would look better, but maybe it's because it's some 
it's not finished and it's um like uh, no babash like wait. a way wait for something uh, maybe but if it, it's there for reason i don't think to go they're the scrolling tones they're hooks the link is hooks mm -hmm. and if you will continue yeah and then Okay. Oh man, so I it, would be so worried about these balls. They look yeah. heavy. But you are talking about every little detail. So I know. I will continue in my record. Okay. Then I would, I would do anything. You see, I'm not saying intention wasn't good, but for me it really looks like a big mess. Like this small section when they are when the materials are crossing each other, that looks okay because there's a repetitive pattern on each of this crossing. But the top and the balls, because when you don't have them really perfectly tightened, there's a big chance that in a year or two it will get loose. If it's not welded at some point, okay? It can be. There can be some non-visible area that where is a small weld and then okay it will hold if it's just tightened by these materials i would be so worried that it will fall on somebody's leg this looks okay because this i can relate that it can, there's two under each other so yeah I'm a little bit confused why they are you see one of them are wrapped like this and some of them are wrapped like this it's confusing for me because it's destroying the pattern for me especially when you have like a nice uh, straight lines and this is kind of for me breaking the whole design Yeah, like here, I don't mind this section. They are similar, these volutas, these uh, spirals are very similar. So they look like the same design. On the gate before, as how it looks for me, it looks like that somebody did this a long time ago and then somebody and then her or maybe someone else, I don't know if she did all of it, came here and was like, hey, and now I'll take a lot of materials and I wrap it everywhere around it. Garden bling? It's bling. I like the gate, but the adornment aren't really my thing. Yeah. The balls are come to it to close the gate. Ah, okay. I'm worried about my balls. <laughs> yeah, she likes to buy my things. Yeah, very much. Yeah. Hold on, what? Buffett oh, fan, me. hello! Thank you so much for the resubscription, man. 11 months? <laughs> Almost a year. How is it going? I think that's what she's referring to when she says she thinks in an organic way. Yeah, I'm always worried when somebody when somebody uses this because some people are really hiding um, confusing designs behind uh, being organic. When it's organic, it doesn't have to be confusing or a mess. Nature is very natural. Yeah, but it can be very. Yeah. Yeah, they look out of place style wise. Yeah, I think so too. How is your day, Buffett fan? Hope you're doing well, mate. Okay, so here, smaller things. Punched flame garden sculpture. 
punch like punched into the ground okay I thought that she was referring to like a punched hole and I don't see any so that's why I was a little bit confused I'm okay with that I think design wise the one uh, when you have only two on this design I would put this one to the other side you know but other than that it looks okay and the lines are here is a little sharp bend with these fine lines at least what we have been learning and what we like it's so tricky when you want to have them really fine and smooth some sp all the spots must be perfect with that like this area this bottom line I don't know if you can see the mouse cursor guys but I hope you do this area looks okay, uh, looks nice. I like this. Here it's going like this, and the other side here is a little bit sharper band. If she would like straighten it and not go straight here, but go more towards the top, even more like this, she could go like this, and then on the other side. I think it would look better. But it's nice to see that she's playing with the material. But so far, or get yeah, damn. Uh, so far for me, organic means in these pictures not precise and a little bit messy. And this middle one, I wouldn't put it there at all. What is it? Is it supposed to be some kind of a snake? But hey, I'm not trying to like uh, discredit her work, okay? I'm just pointing out details that for me as a tall art blacksmith studied. conditioning in there she's also adding a stupid amount of weight to the gate yes it, it, these that's one of the uh, like beginners mistake that they put a lot of small details from small materials but when they combine together it's so much bigger big weight and when you don't think about it when you're making the hinges it can <laughs> completely break it Work calls me away, see you all soon. Yeah, thank you for stopping by and thanks for the link. Looks like a snail. Oh, and, and Fox sees it too. Organic for a hobbyist means I make it up as I go. Yeah. And it does look like a snail. Snail on a leaf. It's cute though. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Oh yeah, AC is on, is in good order. 
57 days of 100, it's been hot. Ah! Okay, hold on, let's check the rest. So it's a snail. Okay, I like the leaf though. Like the leaf? That is organic, okay? That looks organic. The snail for me is a mess. And yeah, rebars everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but I just don't like to use rebars. Because rebars are for concrete. When somebody is using a rebar because of its pattern for a design, I think it's because of he has no idea how to do a nice pattern of himself. Yeah, but you know, if you use it like like uh, Ridavania. Yeah, but he's making industrial art, yeah. right? He's connecting together. Out friend of ours, he's making. Oh, yeah, I should put some pictures it, of his I work on the I think this is okay. Oh, yeah, I'm just. I just saw the rebar and I'm like. Mm. Yeah, I know, but you know, if if it's used like this, it's okay. I think like if you see it on fences, it's the worst thing for me. Yeah, because Good. the rebar. So so many people mistake rebar for tough material. Yeah. Some people are like. Oh, I should do it from something really strong. Maybe a rebar. Oh my god. <laughs> so you don't know what a rebar is, right? Yeah. Like here, I don't like it. Here is also again rebar if you want to see. And this is what I don't like. If it's because of the organic shape, it doesn't add organic to me. Rebar is easy to use. It's easy to bend. You can almost work with it when it's cold. These all the bands you can do cold with rebar and you have no troubles. But rebar has no strength almost. That's why it's being put it into the concrete as a as an additive to like hold it right properly. But it's not really good on its own. Cold wiring. This. This looks organic to me and it doesn't look bad because you have a spiral on which you have these weird shapes each one of them is different so it makes together some kind of pattern i don't mind this calling organic yeah i think like she thinks organic is like it's not straight straight and they yeah but yeah, she, she's using the easiest way to make shapes. Yeah. Because it's first thing you, like, or second thing you, you will do in blacksmithing mm -hmm. when you are teaching, uh, yeah. learning how to. It's special project. Wait a minute. This will be the heaviest guitar she is somebody ever held. Or it's not a guitar, like it's supposed to be like a yeah, cigar box guitar. Like okay. she she is using this uh, yeah. pattern for like Yeah, but look at this. her style or something. This is a mess. Really this bad. is not organic. This is a mess. This is bad. I don't have material in there, right? No, I don't. No. This is really bad. Yeah. But you know, it's because we yeah, we learned at school, and experts told us that some yeah, things we have been studying are it. a lot. Yeah, we have been studying this design. This is also and has a, guide. a lot. Like, there's if, too much. If she would use like cleaning half of the material. She could use half of the material there. Completely designed for the iron. Yeah. So but the I do copper, love the copper part. Yeah, like copper part is really nice. So, yeah, and she is like she can do it better. Like she is, jakože ponižuje to, že to trošku skazuje. 
It's a shame that she's putting it down. Like, yeah. can I say it like this? Yeah, I think. If it's same in like in. Hey, now, now don't you hate on my <laughs> rebar? <laughs> rebar is good to start with, with because it's cheap. Yeah, it's cheap and it's very soft, so you can really easily shape it, and it doesn't break. It doesn't break that much. It's because when you drop the temperatures, it's not that big of a problem with uh, uh, with. What did I just say? I completely uh, forgot the sentence I don't know, in the middle of I'm saying it. And the, the Never mind. I like the spider web. Yeah, I'm just a little bit fed up by spider web design. I imagine it's more of a recycling purpose than using it because it is rebar. It's hard to say because I know people who are, like, I don't mean it bad, but a lot of amateurs are using rebars mainly because of the pattern. Which I don't like when somebody uses it for the pattern because for me rebar is just the pattern is there to hold in the concrete, right? Load the rivet for the cat's butthole. I don't want to comment the butt the not the butthole, the cat at all. But it's like a wire thing. It was I think it must have been all made cold. The artist component is missing. Learning how to use space is a skill. Yes. Not all of it is soft. I've had some pretty tough rebar, almost felt like high carbon. Yes, there is a rebar. There are rebars that are special, and they are made for uh, like special purposes. So I also met rebars that are very tough. I also even met uh, in one of my friend's workshop. He had a chisel made out of this rebar, and I saw it. I'm like, are you kidding me? He was like, oh, wait, wait, let's grab it on the grinder and see the, uh, ah. see the sparge. And I'm like, what? Yeah, that was a special type of rebar. Oh, what? The Frumpy Grumpy. Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome, people. The wizard uh, is never late. Yeah, I'll leave it here and I'll continue right. working. Hello, welcome readers. Can we have a shout out for the Frumpy Grumpy? How's it going? Frumpy Grumpy, hey guys, how's it going? What you're working on? Uh, I'm finishing some projects and... Hold on. Drop in a follow. Thank you so much for the raid. Oh, you have to. Yeah, no worries. Not enough shout outs. Oh, thanks. Uh, don't tell anyone though. Tell me. <laughs> don't tell anyone though. Tell me. <laughs> he just wrote there. Oh, you don't yeah, know yeah. about it. You know, he just. I... I'll meet the raiders yeah, and then we yeah, will discuss sorry. it, okay? I'll show you what I'm working on. By the way, my name is Honza. I'm Art Blacksmith from the Czech Republic. There is Agnes, my wife. She's also Art Blacksmith. And this is our workshop. Welcome. Today I'll be finishing some model openers. I need to make a surface printer for them. This one. Why is this first thing not want to focus? Okay, so here is one. One opener. I made yesterday and here is a second. I also made yesterday. I need to drill holes in here. and make a surface trooper for it, which I'll do today. And then I'm making some material holders. That I need into the barn. 
so I can hang material on it. There yeah, are no very precise, I'm there are just practical stuff. It will be hammered into the beam and drilled with two screws on the bottom and they will be behind each other and the, the long materials will be laid on them so they don't lie on the floor. We also had a giveaway not uh, long ago and the price for the giveaway was this uh, insect sculpture. We love to do sculptures with Agnes, and that's why I don't work full time anymore. <laughs> one for one of the reasons, because I don't want to do just games, practical stuff, tools, and all that. I like to do it for myself, but I don't want to do it as a business. So that's why we are trying to, for the past year, I think we are rebranding our brand. Already two years. Then the time flies. Oh, a year and a half. A year and a half, maybe. Yeah. The top. There are different grades of rebar. There are different amounts of carbon depending what structural job is being used for. Yes, but it, in my opinion and my uh, experience, that the word can. In 99% cases, you find a rebar or you see it somewhere, it's the soft one. It's so, at least here, it's very unlikely to meet a different type of rebar. Yep, steel has different grades of, for different applications. Sculpture is so nifty. Thank you very much. So, I'll finish these two, well, two other hooks for material, and then I'll start to make those surface treatments. Yeah, I can also show you we are making very nice corkscrews, I think. And I don't adore my work much, so I think really that we have really nice corkscrews. We have great tool for us too. Yeah, this is what I call organic when we talk again about what organic means to me as a word. Or the the or the bug sculpture, right? The insect is also organic. But there is some kind of pattern and precision in that. So that's what is different what is different for me. I, I think we do a lot of organic stuff. For example, uh, can I show the wings of yours? Yes. Ah. For example, Agnes is making a mop. Combined steel and copper. And this is also organic in my opinion, right? But it's organic and you have on the first uh, in the first look you know what it is. Those are wings for and it's organic and it's, because it's not flat. Yeah, it's not flat. Has a pattern. Now it does, I think. Yeah. Okay. Rivet it together. In a
know, a bowl with I, tentacles. I was like, oh, wait, cool. That's very yeah. organic. <laughs> I think it doesn't have to be only small, it could be too much work yeah, for not that enough to pack. Okay, okay, okay. You, you're always telling me keep it simple. Yeah, but this is Those are awesome. Cool. It's awesome to you think. Wolfram is saying it's awesome. Thank you. Hey guys, hey Mike, how's it going? And Wes, hello. Yeah, wait for the end. Yeah. How are your day? How is your day, people? Tim, I can't even construct a sentence. Okay, I'll do two cuts for the last two hooks, and I'm lowering the microphone for you. I'll be back in a minute. Well, I'm about to go buy some hiking gear because it's that bad. I've only been working this year, so I don't even have gear anymore. Hiking gear? Didn't you just say that you left like $1,600 at the dentist and now you're buying a hiking gear? Tomorrow I'll climb a mountain with my brother. Ah! That's so nice, man. Well, it must be, well, yeah, but it, I'm, oh man, I'm always forgetting that you are in Switzerland. Like when it comes to uh, landscape. You must have hiking gear just to get home. Cool, have fun and be safe. Yeah, shoes and pants and that stuff. Well, yeah, please don't go naked. <laughs> Uh, Mike is buying a uh, hiking gear because he's going to climb on a mountain tomorrow with his brother Which means they're going home Because they are in Switzerland and mountains are everywhere Okay, Dino Often you left it here like Yeah, I thought I'm going right away on Running off yes. Sorry.
So, uh, yeah, hold on. Damn, so his brother is making him wear pants and shoes in his day on his day off. What a brother, man. He must really love him. I only have work shoes and work pants. And they're not good for hiking. The profile on the work shoes is really flat uh, from all the grinding dust on the floor. So I don't want to use those for my mountain climbing. Okay, I get it. I bet he's getting the leather wholesome and matching hat for the hike. What's it? What is leather hosen? I don't think it's legal to hike in Switzerland without them. And I think you have to yodel all the way up. <laughs> Hold on, dude. Is yodeling also a thing in Switzerland? I thought it's mainly just Germany. Low leather shorts with suspenders. Ah! Yeah, I think that's the one here that So I just think that Yodeling is more like Austria thing. Lederhosen and green hats are German. How oh, dare. Yeah, that's what I thought. You must go easy on them, Mike. They're not Europeans, you know? Switzerland, Germany, and, and uh, Austria is almost the same for many people. I forgot before, I forgot again. If you're still. Oh fuck's sake, that is free! Again. Huh. So, leather shorts, it's. Yeah. Swiss Germans wear them, wear them though, too. My old man wore them as a kid. Ah, when you get to the top, you gotta yodel. Yodeling is present in all countries that have alpine alpine terrain, but it differs in style from country to country. Yes, Which part of Switzerland did your dad grow up in? My old man was born in Ludwigshaven in Rhineland. Or like Rhineland. Right? <laughs> like arena light or you know, I don't know how to go, how to say it with that accent. And I'm not, not going to try again. I'll show you 
guys something that you will be really looking at with open mouth. So it almost counts as Germany. Let's not talk about that too much. I never said he was Swiss. Hold on. Let me find this. Uh -huh. Because we have a friend that was going on a school with us and he's doing industrial art. Not just almost. I did say I'm half English. <laughs> Okay, bye, I gotta go. Have a good one, Mike. Then I'll post it on the Discord too, because I think that you would like it also. Damn, I enjoy talking about art <laughs> like this. I said my old man wore leather hosen as a kid. I'll send you this and I'll go forging and you guys check it because damn it's worth it he's like a professional art welder and you said Swiss Germans wore them too anyways but yep but I did not say he was Swiss German but you confused him But I don't mind, confuse him as much as you want because damn, he's confusing me all the time too. And also, as I said, he said last time he will come here and hold that stupid material for me. And he's still in Switzerland. He would rather be with his brother. <laughs> get a hike over the mountains to get there ah so that's why he's buying the hiking gear mm. okay makes sense and he's taking a brother for help as well that's great okay now i'm okay with that you can go what you can go yeah the proof came from Honda. <laughs> <laughs>
Are you drinking water? Did somebody check the link of the guy? Because we really admire his work. We always did. Not always. No? Always from his time to me. Well, yeah, I thought this. Yeah, but what did he do before? I don't even know. Oh, uh, so I should know. Yeah, oh, he was a caster. I know mainly his work when he started to uh, come to the blacksmith workshop. Yeah. He started uh, to do those Damascus uh, pattern. Damascus? Yeah. He was coming to our workshop a lot and he was doing Damascus uh, under the watchful eye of our teacher. Okay. And also in the, sh in the school we had everything, like the best quenching oils and the, uh, Furnaces and everything. Yeah, I saw it. Pretty sick. Lots of really repetitive small work. Yes! And his work is way worse for lungs than ours.
downloading the update for the Apex Legends. Okay. What? Okay, so... Here, can you see it? I guess so. Okay. Very well seen. So here's the most rivet knit together. sucking those burning gases. Yes, and he's also working in a small garage as far as I knew from the last time. No ventilation system, only open garage doors. Agnes looks really good from Drew. Thank you.
I'll lower the microphone for this.
also mark the tip holes for the relay. Work is looking sharp. Thanks. Hey Jason, how's your day? How are you doing? Alright, thanks. Which are my second screen while I work. Ah, how about you? I had some rough days. Mainly I can get along with my brain much. But work helps a lot. And talking. Talking helps as well, mainly like with with my Agnes about my issues because I've been I'm not very sharing person when it comes to my own problems.
finishing two bottle openers, maybe other, other things. I feel that, can't emphasize. Shit happens. I have to make some changes. No, I have to work on changing. No, that it would be like, you hear? I don't, but I'm trying to make a noise like, you know, it doesn't change like this. So, I have to work on it. Sleep more. Eat more and better. I should get more vitamins to myself. helping me the most and I think that kids are the biggest motivation not that I wouldn't like to get better because of the Agnes but kids are depending on us so that's a little bit different Thank you. 